Thank you all for coming uh, to this, which is uh, an exciting day and the fact that uh, we are ready to break ground on another jewel on the SIU campus in the athletic department. It's the track and field complex, and I'm going to go through some of the goodies about this complex. Nine acres, and it's going to cost uh, just a hair under $4 million and should be done by December. Uh, it's going to include a regulation 400-meter track, uh, state-of-the-art, full-depth, polyurethane synthetic track surface, pole-mounted track and field sports lighting. We'll also have uh, regulation NCAA field event areas, which include bi-directional pole vault, long and triple jumps as well. We'll have a regulation NCAA competition throwing event space, including dual shot put pad, hammer throw, discus, and the javelin throw. We'll also include a state-of-the-art multi-event synthetic turf system for the track infield, which can also be set to accommodate NCAA regulation soccer pitch and football field. There'll be spectator seating for 250. This will include seven Americans with disabilities positions with future capacity of up to 500 additional spectators. This will also include a new 4,500 square foot building with future expansion capability that will house the men's and women's locker rooms, athletic training facility, and meet operations center. It's of course gonna be located next to Abe Martin Field. We were gonna be there today, but that didn't work out so well, but uh, we'll make do. And of course, this is part of Saluki Way, which is the plan to develop a premier athletic facility that support the ability to recruit, train, and develop championship caliber student athletes. We're gonna to start today, our first speaker is the SIU Carbondale Chancellor, Dr. Rita Chang. Thanks so much, Darren. And I'm pleased to welcome everyone uh, to yet another exciting milestone in the development of uh, Saluki Way. You know, many of our generous donors, our students, the city of Carbondale, uh, are, have joined us in building for the future because they share the confidence in our future. I remember saying at the event for the football stadium in the fall, August uh, of last year, that Saluki Way was a textbook example of the effectiveness of public and private partnerships. And it's an investment that will return dividends to our students, our employees, and our region for many, many years to come. My notes say a quick glance to the north, uh, but I think that really what we want to do is just take a look around the arena and close our eyes and think about that stadium uh, to give us confidence that the completed track and field complex will be yet another great addition uh, to the campus. Athletic Director Mario Mocha and his staff, uh, Director Phil Gatton and uh, the staff of plant and service operations continue to demonstrate outstanding leadership and uh, their commitment to Saluki Way. The track and field program has a remarkable history and our student athletes, coaches, and staff continue to excel. And in fact, uh, 17 of our student athletes will compete in a combined 16 events at the NCAA Western Regional later this week. It speaks of their talent and their dedication. And they stand out in competition, but they also stand out in the classroom. As chancellor, I keep track of those things, you know. And uh, since 1993, 220 members of the track and field and cross country teams have been named Missouri Valley Conference Scholar Athletes. And in the fall of 2010, the GPA for the men's teams was 3.24 and the women's team 3.27. Just, uh, just you know, seconds, uh, seconds more, or uh, hundreds more. And in 2010, our cross country men's team had a GPA of 3.6. It was the second best in the nation out of 152 teams. So our student athletes, our coaches, and our staff deserve the kind of facilities that are breaking ground uh, today. These athletic uh, improvements and the future addition of a student services building and much other uh, needed facilities in the future for this campus are here to not only improve the appearance of the campus, but the services we provide and will help us in recruiting students 
way into the future. So I'm happy to be here. I'm really looking forward to a ribbon cutting and uh, students, uh, staff, and, uh, and support staff. I really, uh, really uh, thank you for your dedication work. And um, I'm glad that we spent some time in that newly renovated uh, uh, locker room as well. So thank you. Our next speaker is the gentleman that is overseeing the project known as Saluki Way. And as you look around, obviously here, the football stadium and soon to be the track and field stadium, uh, just uh, tremendous facilities. Everything has been done in a first class manner. And the gentleman that is uh, a large responsibility for that is uh, Mr. Mario Mocha, the athletics director here at SIU. Thank you, Darren. Well, we're not going to forget today, obviously. Now, first and foremost, I'd like to recognize my, uh, my parents, Joe and Elena, that raised their hands over there. They're, they're in attendance today. Obviously, it's a big event if they came in all the way from uh, Surprise, Arizona. So I appreciate them being here. And my, uh, my wife, Heidi, and my daughter, Addie, who is paying attention. Hi, Annie. They came today, good. Uh, but I'd especially like to thank the leadership of the campus and the system and uh, Chancellor Rita Chang and P uh, President Glenn Pichard for their unwavering support of this project, which is made today possible. Now, there are many people behind the scenes uh, at SIU who have worked very hard, uh, and I'd like to recognize them at this time. First, from the physical plant, Scott Weber. Scott, raise your hand in the back over there. And from, uh, give him a round of applause. He did a tremendous job on Saluki Way, and he's actually running the show on this project. And, and Jason King uh, from Intercollegiate Athletics. Jason isn't here today. He's, with, uh, he's in Omaha with our baseball team at the MVC Championships. Uh, but he will uh, definitely be working hard on this project as well. Uh, now, we're also fortunate to once again work with a terrific team of architects. Uh, as you look around our recently completed facilities, this being one of them, I'm sure you will agree with me. Uh, the lead architect on this project is Joe Micah, uh, but with us today is principal and project manager John Eiler. So John, would you please take, stand up and let everybody recognize you? John's done a tremendous job throughout this whole project, and, and we're very fortunate that, he, that he's staying on with us the whole way. Uh, I'd also like to recognize some of our head coaches from the past. Uh, Doc Lingle, uh, we've got a very special guest. Dee Dee Itner is here. Dee Dee, if you could raise your hand. Doc's daughter, thank you for being in attendance today. <laughs> Lou Hartzog. Coach Hartzog was the architect of SIU's ascension as a track and field powerhouse. In 24 years as head coach, he produced 64 All-Americans and seven Olympians. He was a two-time National Coach of the Year, and besides the Saluki Hall of Fame, he's also a member of the prestigious Drake Relays Hall of Fame, as well as the MVC Hall of Fame. Now, Coach lives in Silver City, New Mexico, and I spoke with him last week, and he promised to make the dedication in December uh, when the project is complete. And he also wanted Fred Huff to know, and Fred's not here today, that he is 88 years old, but he just got off the golf course where he shot at 82. So he wanted me to make sure that I told that to the crowd. So Coach is pretty spry, and he's, uh, he's ready to be back here. Uh, now, Coach Hartzog was followed by another legend, and that's Bill Cornell. He carried on the winning tradition for 15 seasons, himself a three-time All-American at SIU. Coach Cornell was an eight-time MVC Coach of the Year and mentored 26 All-Americans and four Olympians. I hope I had got that all right, Coach. Uh, Coach Cornell is here today with his, right, with his wife, Rose. If they would please raise their hand and give them a much-deserved round of applause. And obviously, our current head coach, Connie Price-Smith, she's in her 10th year as head coach. She's a four-time Olympian. She hates when I tell people that because she's so modest, but a four-time Olympian, uh, a four-time MVC Coach of the Year, and has recently served as Olympic Throws Coach while producing 30 All-Americans at SIU. Connie is certainly one of the best and brightest our coaching staff has to offer. So, Connie. And I got to admit, Tom Weber's smiling in the back because he wrote all this stuff. I'm just up here telling everybody. But our track program, which obviously, you know, you've got football and men's basketball, and, and really, these are historic achievements in, in this program. 
I'm going to tell you a little bit. In our, in our history, the program has produced more than 300 Missouri Valley Conference champions and 125 All-Americans, including 11 national champions. There are 52 former track and field athletes in our Saluki Hall of Fame. And from 1956 to 2000, there was at least one Saluki participating at every Olympics. In total, the program has produced 17 Olympians. Now onto the facility. The wonderful facility will be one of the finest on-campus track and field venues in the Midwest. And in addition to a tremendous running surface, a synthetic grass infield, and a top-notch throws area, and as an aside, where's John Smith? John. Now John's been pumping out all Americans with a floppy hat and a uh, folding chair. So it's <laughs> going to be exciting to see what he does with this new facility. But in addition to all that, uh, it's going to contain uh, brand new locker rooms for both our men's and women's track and field program, as well as uh, a locker area that could be utilized, could be, if SIU were to add the sport of women's soccer. And remember, I said if, bless, in the back, okay? If we were to ever to add that, it can, we can hold that. And as you will soon hear, it will be a tremendous addition for our student body uh, and our recreational sports department. Now, in closing, I'd like to thank Brad Taylor and Cindy Miller for putting this event on in short notice and obviously dealing with the, uh, with the weather. So BT is running around here working in the back. And Cindy, raise your hand. You guys deserve a heck of a round of applause. So thanks for everything. And I'd also be remiss, see, she always reminds me, Michelle Suarez is here from our Alumni Association. Michelle, raise your hand. Thanks for coming today. But I look forward to uh, seeing everybody back here in December for the dedication, which will truly be a milestone in what is a very special program at Southern Illinois University. Thanks for attending today, and go dogs. Our next speaker is a senior. He's a currently is obviously a student here at Southern Illinois University. Uh, he is the Sport Club Executive Board President. He is uh, majoring in Recreational Sports Services. Please welcome Philip Bickert. Hello, everyone. I would first like to thank my supervisor and director of Recreational Sports, Willie Elling and Shane Bennett. And I'd like to thank the Collegiate Athletics and Southern Illinois University for giving me this opportunity to speak on behalf of recreational sports and sports clubs. I've been asked to speak briefly with you about the exciting collaboration and partnership that continues between recreational sports and intercollegiate athletics at SIU. I am here representing the over 6,000 students who annually participate in intramural sports and over 800 students who are members of our over 35 very active sports clubs at SIU. The playing surfaces of the field that as a freshman I played on and that I enjoy and I still enjoy today have improved greatly. This project with student recreational services, uh, this project with student recreation accesses the artificial turf field as, uh, that uh, allows us for, to um, participate. It gives us great um, windows of opportunity. It expands the uh, quantity of play such as game cancellations when it rains and weather in Southern Illinois becomes like this. We can make that adjustment and we get, offer uh, patrons and students that opportunity to extend their play. And uh, I think that on behalf of uh, sports clubs and intramural sports, this would be a great, this would be a great, um, great opportunity for us. I can't wait. And so go dogs. Thank you. <laughs>